students welcome to machine tool design community today in this video i am going to cover various methods to reduce punching force in some cases it is necessary to reduce punching force to avoid press overloading let's say example you are using 10 ton press and your cutting force is say example 8 ton so you are actually using 80% of your press force so in the in the running time this may affect lot of other running parts of the press that is bearings and that can be damaged so it's better to design a tool where you could reduce a, punch, a punching force so i will just discuss various method to reduce punching force let's start here first I will just see what are the advantages to reduce punching force. First is reduce area of contact while cutting. This I will cover in the later portion of the video that how we can reduce the contact of the punch and the sheet metal. Two, it also reduces shock to the press and smoother cutting operation. So if you if 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 you are using the highest level of forces, there will be a very high cracking noises. and there will be lot of noise in the press shop so it will this also will smoothen cutting operation so now let's start with different type of shear angles so now how we can reduce punching force is first is single shear angle so if i have a punch say dia 20 mm okay so if i need to reduce a, a cutting contact area so what i will do is give some angle to the punch so how can i give angle to the punch you can just uh, after 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 buying the punch from your supplier or making the punch you can just grind it to some angle i'll just say how what how much angle we have to give i'll just say let you know so you have to give this shear angle so if this shear angle is given you the punch will gradually contact the sheet and the cutting force will be reduced so at a time point of contact will reduce now how much angle should be given the angle should be given such that that shear distance is equal to 1 to 1.5 of the sheet thickness so you have to calculate the angle right you have to go for the reverse calculation that this distance is not more than 1 to 1.5 shear a uh, sheet thickness the another method to reduce uh, double uh, reduce the cutting force is double shear angle so here we have given a uh, single shear angle when when the cutting force is high you can just give a uh, shear angle to the both side that is from center but remember when you are giving this double shear angle the punch should give be given concave reason if concave is not given this may bend the sheet at this bend at this edge so if you give concave at the cutting edge at the start so this will not bend the sheet and it will do the cutting gradually now i will just discuss uh, how shear angle can be given in blanking dies and piercing dies now when you are designing blanking tool the shear angle is given to the die and not on the punch guys remember if you if you are designing a blanking tool you have to give shear angle to the die and not on the punch because as it's a blanking tool and you need a stock and the, the 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 part required is the stock and the slug will go inside so the blanking tool will not will not change the geometry or will not bend your part so and if you are going for piercing tool the shear angle is given to the punch okay so remember again i am telling for piercing angle the shear angle he has to be given to the punch and not on to the die now the another method we can go ahead is step punches when you are going for say example uh Lot there are like in one die you are having like five piercing or ten piercing of uh, at a time five holes are there or ten holes are there or you are going for a progressive die. 
So you can use this method that is step punches. What you can do is you can you can reduce the size of the punches according to their travel. So the 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 largest punch and the smaller but the distance between the punch should be one sheet thickness. So what will happen is the bigger punch will enter into the sheet, finish the cutting operation, then another punch will start entering. So at the time there will not be a force generated on the press. The press will have gradual increment of the force. So this will have a very great. Uh, you can just reduce a uh, punching force here very easily. So this operation can be used when you have a lot of punching or lot of uh, there are lot of holes or lot of blanking has to be done. So this can be used for your piercing tool. Okay, guys. So this can be used while designing your blanking tool or piercing tool whenever you need to reduce punching force. Now, if you like my video, you can press. a uh, subscribe button so that whenever i release a new video or new concept you will get a notification by email or pop up whenever you are uh, viewing your youtube videos so guys if you have any question regarding press tool design just write in the description window i will try to answer at whatever my best knowledge is there okay guys have a good day thank you